Hey everybody, welcome back to the Music for Days podcast. I'm Sudhu and join me as I connect with all the artists, the musical artists from the Chennai scene here. And today we have Mangas. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> hey Mangas, how are you doing today? I'm good, how are you? <laughs> I'm doing amazing man. So yeah, we're glad to have you on the podcast today. So pretty much Music for Days is about how, you know, we want to know pretty much what each independent, especially these independent artists hmm. are about, you know, because everyone's trying to make, like, it's becoming, the scene is growing even more and more. We are trying to understand what they're about and, like, what their music means to them, what what they're trying to convey. Yeah, you get the, you get the idea. So that's pretty much Music for Days. So can you give us a little intro about yourself, Mangas? Sure. Uh, my name is Aditya Rao and I go by Mangas. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, yeah, I'm a singer-songwriter and... I, we, I'm in a band called Mangas and the Mango Men. We formed like a year ago, and I was a solo artist before that. And yeah, we write some hard rock stuff. And yeah, singer songwriter is what I am. <laughs> great man, great, great. How long have you been doing this mu whole music thing for? R roughly, I, I guess five, five years, five. Because I, I started out with drumming. Okay. And I drum for a few bands, and then got into Singing, singing, which is what is happening now. Okay, okay, that's 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 great, man. So I think I, I have to ask the question that I guess is in everyone's mind: uh, How did you come up with the name <laughs> Mangas? Yeah, I get this a lot. <laughs> but yeah, I, I guess um, so. The story is: It's uh, we're at my beach house in Mahabalipuram with a couple of friends. Oh, and. Um, Basically, my Instagram name at that time was Rolling Rocky 300, which is my gamer tag. Oh, okay, Rolling Rocky yeah, 300. I saw the okay. face you made. <laughs> you no, I was, just, I, was just, I was just, you know, okay, yeah, but yeah. Yeah, Rolling Rocky 300. Yes, I used to game a lot. And uh, yeah, we were at the beach house and I was just getting into music at that time. And I asked my friends, my best friend Kubair, I think you might know him, was there. And uh, we were just, uh, we were cutting up some mangas. Oh. And uh, oh. yeah, so I was like, guys, what do I do? Like, I want to go into music. And I, I, my name is Rolling Rocky 300. And then he brought up how Billie Eilish's name was Where Are The Avocados at that time. Her Instagram, her Instagram, her Instagram handle. Oh, okay. He's like, why don't you try something? I mean, I was like, what, what can I do? And he's like, you're cutting manga, just go with it. I'm like, oh, cool. <laughs> you're just like, oh my God. <laughs> it wasn't oh my God, it, oh, okay. was, it was more like, mm. I'll try it out. Works. I'll try it out. I'll try it out. And then and it, you just stuck with yeah. it. Yeah. And it somehow just became... It, it, no, it seriously, it became like that, your your brand at yeah. this point. Yeah, at this point. In a good way, yeah. So, yeah. And it works, so... It works, we, it works. We, very, yeah. very catchy too, in my opinion, so... Thank you. Yeah, man. No, of course. And uh, speaking of mangas, let's... Uh, you are in the band known as the Mangas and the Mango Men. Yes. Tell us more about the band. When did the band get formed? How did it get formed? Oh, uh, that's a long story. <laughs> <laughs> so... I've met the guys of the band at different parts of my life. Okay. So I started out meeting Matthew, who's the bassist of Mangas and the Mango Men. Okay. And I met Matthew, I think approximately four years ago. Okay. When my school friend and bassist in my school band, Vimal, introduced me to Matthew because they met in a bass class. And yeah, Matthew came home, we jammed, and... Uh, yeah, Matthew plays for this metal band called Waffles and Warfare. So ah, yeah, yeah. I went to one of their gigs and I, I got introduced to metal at that point. So I'm listening to them and uh, yeah, that's how I met Matthew. And at one of their shows, I met Steve because Steve comes to Matthew and he's like, I want a drummer to jam with. I go to Matthew and I'm like, I want a guitarist to jam with. He's just like... It's just, it's just perfect timing. Perfect timing, put mm -hmm. them both together. Cool. So Steve and I meet. Then... Then is Nikhil. Nikhil, basically, I was um, on Instagram and I'm seeing this this guy like kill it on the drums. Like every day there's one story and I'm like, Jesus Christ, I want to quit drumming, man. <laughs> Jeez. Why does this guy live? <laughs> and then I'm like, what if I call him home oh, okay. and, you know, jam with him? And that's how it started. I called him home and <laughs> Steve and I jammed with him and we just connected and that's how Nikhil and I met and Krishanu who is the second guitarist okay uh, I met through Sunflower Tape Machine because I used to drum for Sunflower Tape Machine for right. a long time okay and uh, Krishanu and Sunflower Tape Machine were college mates okay and um, 
when Krishanu joined Sunflower, we just connected and yeah, so last, it's been a little more than a year since Mangas in the Mango Men formed. Wow, okay. And uh, yeah, so basically I called these group of guys who I thought would work well together mm -hmm. and it's been going great since then. So I, I think I made a good selection of bandmates. Okay, that that's great man because we've heard about you all over town. You all are like one of the, <laughs> you all are like pretty much one of the biggest bands in Chennai right now. That's that's amazing and like, uh, so you guys pretty much, you were, you were formed a year ago. A year. Now, when, when you guys first started working, like I don't know if you exactly remember but the first time you guys started mm. working, was it like instantly like yes, all these people have the right chemistry that you can work with and instantly you all just clicked or was it like a thing where you took your time to build these relationships with these guys and then eventually find a way to work together cohesively? How did that go? Hmm. So, I guess when I met one of them, the other one was always there. Like okay. when I met Matt Steve was there. When okay. I met Nikhil Steve was there. So, mm -hmm. we kind of knew each other in a way but we, we had never played together. Right. So, um, it all started out when I wanted to transform my solo set into a band set. Right, yeah. So I was like, you know, I'm not feeling the solo set. Mm -hmm. I'm getting called to places to just go play by myself and it's kind of depressing. Oh. One person sitting there and playing songs that are meant to be played as a band by clicking one button and being like, <laughs> okay, yes, I sing over that. It's not, it's not. <laughs> it, it wasn't fulfilling. It wasn't, point, it wasn't yeah. working. I tried just Krishanu, just me and Krishanu. Okay. That didn't work as well. Like, it, it worked, but it wasn't satisfying. Right, that makes course. sense. After a point, yeah. After a point, yeah. So, yeah. Um, Last year, I think it was July, we had the show, uh, the Summer Bang at 24 Spirit here in ah, Chennai. Okay. And uh, yeah, we, I was also part of the organizing committee. So I pitched that I would do a debut show with the band. Mm -hmm. That's when I started planning the band. And I called these guys together. We, that time we were a cover band actually. We did a lot of Green Day. Oh. We did some Plain White Tees. We did some 21 Pirates. Mm -hmm. And uh, we did play Star City, which was... The, right, yeah, your song, yeah. Which I I wrote oh, by pinnacle. myself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Damn, man. it's okay. a song of mine which became a band song. So it was an indie pop song which they took and made... Made it into something bigger. Maybe. Much bigger. Much it, bigger. It became okay. like a punk rock like oh. anthem kind of thing which... Wow. Which uh, is much better than what it was. Wow, okay. I mean, it's different things, but yeah. So, yeah, our first show... And I guess everyone, yes, they did connect. They did connect. We mainly connect. I'd say it was okay. Like, we were like, okay, first show, it's cool. Mm -hmm. But um, how we did connect was, like, the main part was uh, we got booked for our first festival, which was the Koblong Classic mm. at Surf Turf last year. And um, what happened was we're all practicing. We're cool. And I get a call from the organizer. They're like, you can't play covers. And we're like, oh, shit. What, what do we do? We have four days left four for a 45-minute set. Oh, boy. And I'm talking to them. I'm like, guys, we need to do something about this. Write originals in four days. So, yeah, that's when everyone really got together and they were like, they sat, grinded like four days of like no sleep, nothing. Just all writing. Went and played it at Kovalong. It worked. It was a great gig. And that's wow. when I knew that, you know, we had something. So, pretty much y'all were like under pressure and y'all like, you know what? Yeah. We have to get this out of the way no matter what and then you all just eventually just clicked. Yeah. That, that's, that's like the best version of uh, Star City that I've seen actually live. The punk rock version, no? Yeah, on, uh, at Kovlong. Wow. Like I, I clearly remember that and I was there in the crowd. Yeah, I Your remember. Your video <laughs> has me in a very oddly dressed, uh, something not for the beach. Oh, okay. Like I'm the only one who's dressed oddly. Like, okay. <laughs> Damn, okay. Yeah. Uh, everyone is wearing a t shirt and I'm just wearing a what looks hey, like it's, a thick sweater. It's, it's like, cool, bro. It's cool. It's, it's, cool. In, it's in your. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shit. Okay. But yeah, man, great. Yeah. So so now we have the picture of the mango man here. So could you uh, point out who's who? So obviously we have you here, manga. Yes. This, I believe, is Steve, right? Your yes, that is Steve. Guitarist. And that is Nikhil, your drummer, Nikhil. right? Then that's Matthew, your Matthew. bassist. And uh, finally, Krishan. Krishan. Yes. Is the secondary uh, yes. guitarist. Yes. Okay. Perfect, man. Perfect. I mean, you know, what a, what a, what a, what an amazing, <laughs> wholesome story, bro. But yeah. And uh, okay, let's, uh, let's, you know, ha let's have some fun now. Now we're going to move into the, we are going to move in to the rapid fire section of our podcast today. Are you ready? Yeah, let's go. All right. So no thinking, all right. Just rapid fire directly. Okay. Go yes for it. Yes or no. Yes or no. Whatever. Or the it's answer. Just, yeah. Cool. <laughs> okay, man. First job. A designer. 
would you ever try stand up yeah do you speak more than one language yeah do you believe in soulmates yeah cats or dogs dogs money or happiness happiness love or friendship friendship night in or night out night out cannon ball into the pool or dip in a toe first cannon ball into the pool fresh food or fried food fresh food biryani or pizza pizza okay beer or hard liquor beer okay what's okay uh, are you happy in life yeah do you believe in second chances yeah what's your biggest flaw i overthink a lot okay likewise uh, what's one quality you hate the most in a person uh no 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 don't think come on cockiness cocky oh, okay okay favorite thing about diwali the celebration Cele- works okay <laughs> all right uh that fireworks and got away with it <laughs> first word that comes to your mind fun okay favorite beverage mountain dew okay worst thing you ate at a restaurant an idli once oh and it somewhere wow okay <laughs> <laughs> biggest inspiration 21 pilots first concert you ever been to my dad oh <laughs> nice uh are you more introverted or are you more extroverted was introverted now extroverted cool okay dream relationship or dream job dream job okay black or white black okay stay in india or move out move out okay house parties or clubbing house parties nice an animal or an insect you secretly afraid of cockroaches same <laughs> bro same, same. Same. I I like no, how this whole okay. room. Yeah. Same. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the big uh, ones when they start flying. When they start flying, when bro. When they start flying, I will jump off the balcony myself. I will not. I will not stay. <laughs> I I relate so much, man. But yeah. Okay. Hidden talent or a party trick that you have? Stand up. Oh. Okay. Uh, a little bit. Oh. Okay. Works. School days or college days? I never went properly to college. So school days. Okay. Uh, Kendall Jenner or Kylie Jenner? Kendall Jenner. Okay. Uh Kanye West or Jay-Z? Kanye West. Okay. Imagine Dragons or Fall Out Boy? Imagine Dragons. Coldplay or Maroon 5? Coldplay. Uh Green Day or Blink-182? Green Day. Okay. All right, all right. Do you like pineapple on pizza or not? Yeah. <laughs> What? Nah, nah, Nasty. Nah, nah, whoa, whoa, Nasty. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh are you in the profession you dream you dreamt of as a kid? No. Oh, what did you? What was it? I wanted to be a WWE superstar. Oh, <laughs> I mean, yeah. Fair, dude. Who yeah. who didn't right? Who didn't? Yeah. I mean, this job is kind of like that in certain ways. You're a superstar. Yeah. It's not the WWE superstar. I mean, it's kind of similar if you okay, think about it. in certain ways. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, man. So that 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 was pretty much the rapid fire okay. segment. Did I do well? I, I don't know. <laughs> I think no, that I think there is no right answer. There's no do well. Okay, you know. cool. Yeah, <laughs> not really, bro. Yeah. So yeah man so right now your band has just come back from touring in Chennai and Bangalore and in Pondicherry right? right so how did that tour go man it it taught us a lot first of all um we ne- we've never toured before so um, so this is your first ever first time tour. okay yeah it actually it wasn't a tour we got three cities together that's why we called it the somewhat kutti tour because it's not a tour but it's we just call it a tour okay. so, yeah all right um but yeah it it did teach us you know time management and you know how to like deal with certain deal with people, people and uh, just in general how how to have fun was one thing because there was a, there was a lot of times that we were like you know we too had too serious is it huh well were you saying there's a lot of times where you were te- too serious so you had to find see you know, with with my band the one thing is we're never too serious okay that's so, great. Yeah, yeah that's great even if one person's not in it the other people are just like ha ha what whatever, whatever yeah, yeah. yeah so that's one thing i love about these guys mm-hmm. and uh, yeah it, uh, we did uh, chennai bangalore uh, Chen- in order it was chennai pondicherry and bangalore mm. and yeah all three shows went pretty well and we had like a good time great man great You know what? Let's take a look at this uh, preview that you guys have given us here. Now, for uh, correct our screen page. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So this is so this is pretty much the a uh, preview of your uh, to the of of Chennai, right? The first show. The first show yes. in, in Chennai. Where was this done again? This was in IIT Madras. IIT Madras. For the Freshers Night. Okay. Let's let's watch it together. 
Speaking of which, congrats on the tour, man. Oh, thank you. Totally forgot. <laughs> My bad. But but yeah, you know, it, se it seemed amazing for you guys. So how was how did that show go? Now you know when you specifically did specifically IIT. Yeah. Okay, so every show has its complications, which is one thing I've learned. Uh, IIT overall, uh, there were issues with you know sound check timing, usual stuff that happens. But um, IIT people are always nice. The people we deal with there are always very you mm -hmm. know very respectable. Very respectable people and. Um, yeah, we the the show for us was not, I wouldn't say it was our best because uh, there was issues with sound, timing, whatever. But the crowd seemed to like it, so we just even if we can't hear ourselves, we just give it our you know all. And yeah, of course, man. Yes, yes. Do that. So yeah, crowd wise and energy wise, it was a good gig. Good gig. Maybe okay. playing wise, we could have done a bit better. But I, I guess we'll get there. Yeah. So. Eventually. Yeah. Of course, man. Yeah. So, like, uh, is there any other sort of specific challenge that you faced with, like, performing in, like, you know, either in, like, you know, let it be Pondi, Pondicherry, hmm. or Bangalore? Any sort of specific challenge that you specific faced? Specific challenge. Um, I don't think there's anything specific. It's Too just, specific, okay. Yeah. It's just that this was our first time, you know, doing so many shows in let's say, such a small time. Hmm. But I guess it's something we have to learn. Eventually, and, yeah. Yeah, we have to learn and start doing stuff like that. Yeah. So, right now, the priority is to... We finished the tour, now is to get more music out, mm -hmm. to get more stuff written and to play at more places. Okay. Is what the plan is. Um, now, uh, when you're on the road, right? Right. Um, for us to feel, how is it being on the road like this? Like, as a musician, they're like, oh, life on the road. Like, right. You know, is there some sort of difference that you felt of how you were treated or how this, like, shit, like, how your day was moving when you were on the road? Hmm. When like it's on the road with these guys, it's just a really fun day. So you honest. don't even notice the time go by? You don't notice like the time go by. There's so much laughter and fun going on in the car or train or whatever. It just passes by, mm -hmm. which is great. No matter great. how long the journey is, you're just like, since you're with these guys, it's yeah. just... Yeah, yeah. That's I guess we all just gel together really well. Mm. And, yeah. Do you have any ideas when you're on the road? Because being on the road, I've heard it's very inspirational. It is, it is, yeah, definitely. There, there, there are ideas, but there's nothing I can do about it. Because I, I just have to be like, okay, let me remember this, <laughs> go home, and put this down. Okay. Or I just take a notepad and, you know, right. whatever. Okay. Now, okay, now this is, as you mentioned, this is your first ever tour, right? Now, right. there are a lot of people, including myself, who are trying to understand how these tours work. Can you, in like, in a summarized manner, just briefly explain how you were able to land a tour like this? Like first you had to, I'm sure you had to get like, uh, ensure that you have a uh, dedicated fan base enough to, for you to be able to tour, right. stuff like that. Right. So could you break down that process in a summarized way? Uh, sure. So yes, like I said, we've been together for a year and a half, I think. I, uh, yeah, for a year and a half. And uh, yeah, it's been unreal how much we've been able to do mm. in a year and a half. 
so yeah like you said we developed a fan base which is still developing and um we there's i mean you can say people people sometimes people come sometimes people don't come but then I, as in we always go to the cities and give it our all okay. regardless of course uh how we did land this tour um so this year i think we played we played chennai we played trichy we played uh but trichy was actually a funny story which i'll get to in a bit sure but uh yeah so how we did was we have um so the way we manage this band is there's me and um there's the chennai scene who helps me his name is shrikant okay. he's a god sent first of all uh that man has taught me so much when it comes to everything because i i want to get into events as well right mm-hmm. so i i tend to do a lot of that so um, he took us under his wing um and he's he is very he's done so much for the scene right like i'm sure you've been to some of his shows without even knowing it some of his shows i've literally just broken out into the scene so i don't think i have the only right. place that i've gone to is summerbang that they had under this year right right, so, right but right. i guess okay. eventually i'll get there i guess right. but yeah right but so um, shrikant yeah shrikant he is um so what happened with the tour was we actually planned more cities but the scene is so happening right now mm. like there's so much happening all of a sudden like basically the curve was okay 2015 2016 was great and then covid everything has went down now it's like back way up it's somewhere bigger than ever so i was like what can we do in this small time so he's like good idea the small one so i'm like okay chennai i got the offer from iit and we were like okay let's go ahead with that um so you had to uh, pretty much draft uh, you know show, draft some sort of offer to iit saying that so okay, iit was reached out to us oh they reached out they, to you they okay reached out okay to okay, us. okay i think pondy um we always had pondy going but this time we took it up because we needed the money to travel to bangalore right and bangalore something i've always wanted to do because bangalore crowd is people who really come and appreciate you for what right, you do yeah the music scene there is yeah. is on a much different level yeah right 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 so yeah i hope chennai gets there yeah but yeah, yeah, even i'm chennai sure it will get there very soon like trust me very soon like, bro yeah, yeah. chennai is already going <laughs> especially when you have right artists now. like you <laughs> making it much 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 better <laughs> and bigger but yeah as you were saying yeah so basically we got together chennai from iit pondy from uh, it was always there so we just took took that offer and bangalore uh shrikant uh said there's this band from shillong that would uh, really go together with you guys the merch i'm wearing right now dossers urge insane band okay uh came i'm so glad to have played with them and uh, they came down to bangalore and yeah that was our three cities and that's how we coordinated the three cities together okay okay is there is there like a is there like a personal favorite part about these three tours where you performed like w- which one did you feel like went the best in terms of overall crowd reaction the workflow and everything uh, in chennai pondicherry and there's different shows for different questions if oh. you're looking at best crowd it's chennai oh, okay if you're looking at best workflow it's bangalore okay yeah and bangalore is also the most interactive crowd chennai was oh. like yeah we want to have fun cool bangalore was like i know what you're doing i see what you're doing and yeah. they even knew some of the covers we were playing so oh. it was like um they were guessing so i was like wow you guys actually know actually like uh, you know p- putting, putting the effort yeah yeah so, uh, cool wow yeah that was what what about like any like crazy moments from the crowd you know something that's you're like wow holy shit that just happened you know something from the audience is, is it you're asking overall or a part of this tour yeah, and, uh, from every tour you perform okay. every show you perform there is i mean there's a lot of moments there's a been a lot them, just a couple of them whether that you there's feel there's been like, one that okay. was just outstanding okay which was uh, we were playing at mcc octavia okay. the festival we were opening for pineapple express all right and um uh do you have heard of anonymous yes the rapper right yeah, anonymous is on one of our songs it's called on a lens oh okay. um i'll get to that how i met him also in a bit sure. so yeah we were playing the song and i like i call anon on stage and he's like oh what's up guys or whatever and both of us we like we like oh let's go let's get this right and we turn to the crowd and there's one guy just thrown up in the air like he's just flying and both of us are like what <laughs> what what just happened how do you no how is he so no 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 wait what? i don't, I don't no, think so, I he got it. thrown and then he was just like up but we caught him like when oh he was there so we like oh my god so we like okay <laughs> what cool <laughs> what wow okay Yeah that, that much fun that is yeah that much fun i guess 
Yeah, man. Ah, yes, so that's cool. Whatever that's happened cool. to that guy? I don't okay. know. <laughs> I hope he. D- I hope he's okay though. Yeah. Yeah, I, th- I think he's fine. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I hope. Shout I out hope. to whoever <laughs> that is, bro. Yeah. But uh, yeah, MCC was one of the best crowds we played too. Mm-hmm. There was Kovlong, which was a great crowd as, as well. I I D. Yeah, I was there for that. Yeah, mm-hmm. Kovlong. I was there for was Kovlong. Kovlong. Right, yeah. MCC, we had like uh, people, there was like, you know, party pop. Or I love that shit, bro. When it comes out and it's just, it's, it's all the way. It's too fun, yeah. Yeah, it's fun. Of course. And you mentioned this thing where you had a funny story that happened in, uh, I think, Pondicherry. You, you Trichy. Trichy, oh, sorry. Trichy, okay. Yeah, Trichy, so we yeah. played Trichy twice. Actually, technically once, but the second one didn't happen, which is what the story is. So first time we played it was... We and there we had a good time. I think that's the largest crowd we ever played. There was about three thousand. That was NIT, right? NIT. Yeah. Three thousand. Three thousand. <laughs> so, bro. yeah, I, I guess we were still working on our sound at that time, but they really liked us, and they called us back for their another event. And what happened then was I think they had some competition, and uh, all the crowd left because they were pissed off at the um, the standings, the rankings, or something. And they went to the hostel, and the administration office wouldn't let them back. So oh, sh- the students Jesus. came and they were like, you know, we can't do anything about it. They've all left. What do you guys want to do? Do you want to play for a couple of people, or do you want to cancel? Or so we discussed it, and we we're like, I mean, cool, just play. I mean, we've come all the way. Yeah. So, why not? But then the students were like, no, but it's not. I I don't think it's gonna happen. Damn, and we were like, cool. I guess we. <laughs> Cancel. I mean, they were really sad, so we, we had to be like, no, it's fine, we'll come, we'll oh. play again, I don't know what, what to say, we're also sad, you're also sad. Um, but yeah, what happened was we, uh, we actually missed our train that morning to go to Trichy, so we had to book another bus. Oh, boy, Nikhil ouch. went on the bus, I mean, Nikhil went on the train, but oh. we all missed it because we're a little late. Oh, we're not shit. very punctual. <laughs> I mean, that's I'm something I'm also a little guilty sure, of yeah, that. Know, yeah. From <laughs> young age, then uh, I strictly changed myself. <laughs> yeah, that was a so. Yeah, we basically took a bus there. Nikhil took a train there. Went there, relaxed, ate lunch, went to the show. It didn't happen. Came back, ate pizza, took a bus the other day, took a train the other day. And came oh out. man! So Damn. we went to Trichy to eat pizza. <laughs> Is. How was the? The pizza was good, yeah. bro. It was Domino's. It was Domino's. <laughs> Reliable. <laughs> it was a chicken yeah, pizza it, it, from Domino's. <laughs> You you can get do- dude that Trichy like, Domino's hits hard dude. It does it does. <laughs> so, it's like imagine you're coming back home and your parents are like, oh how did the tour go? Domino's. Oh I should have done that. Now that I think I was I told them instead? yeah. Hmm? What did you say instead when they asked you? I told them what happened. I was like uh, actually I need to sleep first then I'm gonna tell you what happened. I mean, yeah, it's been it's been a long it's been a long couple of days ma. <laughs> it's been a long couple of days. Yeah so I think that that was that was the only time we've had our show cancelled was that. Damn yeah, man. A bummer. But hey, more shows to come, right? Yeah. So. Did you get paid though? Yeah, we have a that cancellation is. fee because the thing is, all of us take that day, right? And we book it out but of. You guys also prep for the show. Like we did. Also that, that's also the there, show. right? Yeah. But the thing, the thing with us is, Nikhil and uh, Matt and Krishan and even Steve, like all, all four of them are really busy in the scene. Like again, Matt plays for multiple bands. Nikhil plays for multiple bands. So does uh, Krishan and Steve. So they're booking this date. Like they're leaving everything behind and doing right, it. Yeah. so they need that compensation. Fair so we do yeah, have we fair. do have of a course. cancellation fee. Okay. Which uh, they did. All right, all right. Okay. Now, uh, okay, now let's let's also get into more fun stuff again. Now, now we're gonna do a, we're gonna we're gonna play a game. We're pretty much we are gonna have to guess the right answer first. Our questions are gonna be thrown at us by, by uh, you know by Madhav and. Uh, some other invisible people, man. yeah, the invisible man here. There's so, an invisible we, man. you know, wh- <laughs> whichever one, one of us gets it right first, we'll get to throw water on the next person. So let's get to that segment now. Yeah, one second, right. wait. Let me. Yeah. How many faces are there in a cube? Six. Oh fuck. <laughs> you are to <laughs> 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 No math, man, please. <laughs> It's okay, I'm not good at math, I know. No, no, don't throw it on me. Don't throw it on me. <laughs> okay, yeah. alright. How many sides are there to a hexagon? Can you stop the math question? <laughs> uh, six! Eight! <laughs> uh, who's what? closer? Who's yeah, closer? Who's closer? He won. Won. <laughs> okay, start it with the math, please. Okay, fine. Um, okay. Dif- uh, no signs also. <laughs> Hold okay, let's, you know what, let's, the mic. let's do some music related uh, stuff. Sure, yeah, works, yeah. works. 
ओके नेम ओके व्हाट इज रेड ऑक्चुअली पेपर्स न्यू एस सॉन्ग I woke up man <laughs> <laughs> yeah it wakes you up doesn't it dude yeah, yeah. oh man wow. we'll dry off that next yeah 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 yeah. yeah yeah who's the president of wait yeah president of oh, he's uh, oh. yeah. they pour they pouring the water so some please ask him to the mic Let's make or do old old gk we learned in school no that kind of gk what yeah. is the power house of a cell Oh my God, bro! If you mitochondria. Mitochondria. Yeah. All the, all the, all the. Just, just. Yes. I got it for once, man. No. Speed was not my friend. Just. 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 Which of the Beatles members died first? Huh? I don't listen to the Beatles. Oh uh, oh. Oh man. Get it wrong. Get it wrong. Get it wrong. John? Yeah, you got it first. Oh fuck. Put it, put it, put it, put it. Damn, dude. <laughs> Imagine I said Ringo. Ringo. <laughs> Bro. Yeah. Ringo. Then, then the watch should have been thrown at me. That's it. I think we should get more. Water. That's an even yeah, more. That's an even water, bigger right. offense. We'll get more water. Mother, uh, yeah. Shout out yeah. to Ringo. Ringo has a new album. He's doing a lot of work with uh, Steve Lukather, Toto. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Damn man. Pure Ringo stuff. Wow. Hey, bro, you you did me wrong with that red chili pepper stuff, man. I don't listen to red chili pepper <laughs> at all. Red hot chili pepper. Oh yes. Yes. Red chili, da. Yeah. That was the yeah again yeah bad joke on my part too. <laughs> Jesus, now. Nah. Was it worth the water though? For the heat, yeah. You know what? Yeah, for the heat. Okay, fair enough. Heat. It's a win-win. Uh, you can do some general music, like yeah. some. Whatever you do, I want them to be splash legs. <laughs> yes, yeah, thank you. That's a good idea. Nah, fuck you too. Oh, I don't need to take a shower today. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. yeah. They are out of water. That's the yeah. yeah. Genuinely out of water. Thanks, really. Yeah. Cold water. Also. <laughs> oh my. Oh gosh. my God. Oh. oh okay. Oh, oh. Highest thing. Oh. oh. Hey, I'm gonna pour out. I'm gonna pour out. Power. Yeah, you have to go back down again. Just pour like a little bit. Yeah. It's okay. Go back. Down. Highest thing. Cold water. Oh my God. I need. Hey, it's okay. Now you'll wake up. Okay, let's give. Them I'm already awake. No, no, you're not. Okay, go for it. Come on. Um. Okay. Give me an example of a metaphor. to english oh. <laughs> no, hey, you said no man you said no man so we're asking in english 10 9 oh. 8 what goes around comes around is it is that sir is that if it's wrong put it on him okay, man bro come put it on him bro. oh no I mean, I at least he answered oh what okay. i'm still thinking <laughs> i was that cat yes 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 but don't go too much we need something more yeah Oh man I was thinking See this is why this okay, is why okay, the cold water is torture is Okay who's thinking it's not an easy one now Okay I'm thinking Who is the president of the United States Jo pare Ha is he Put put Oh no <laughs> Isn't it supposed to be you for him me for him now we just both <laughs> Yeah who can Yo yeah, you're improvising <laughs> shit bro Oh Jo so he is drenched Jo Biden Mangas, you saved yourself. Dude, I wanted to say Donald Trump, bro. New Jersey man. You know, I don't know. I think it's because of the camera. I'm not thinking at all. Obviously, it's Joe. It's okay. It's not fair. I'm from New Jersey, so I got it right. Oh. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. Fun fact. Fun fact. Okay. Which which is the bus route that goes from Thiruvanmur Depot to Thambaram Depot? How? This guy, bro. Nah. You're fucked. Just just go for it. Just just go for it. I don't know what to tell you. 
there's the poru some you pass poru you do pass poru no you don't what is that area man acha poru acha see on who down should on him and you but i got poru cross will do yeah you cross to fine cross madhu madhu why madhu why hey they what what is this an did you say an area name for a bus route something man what is the answer uh, 95 95 so yeah. much so much for general knowledge boys oh hey this is just okay. an excuse to throw water water on you guys yeah yeah i okay, i have a question yeah this adi should know hey, hey that's not fair you should know yeah, yeah. as i drive water when did uh, when was loyala first uh, loyala when was loyala first what started they going to start 1921 1935 Who's closer? Check. Ah, oh. oh, he's googling it. I, I, I think I'm. I think I. I think I got this. You said what? 1935. You said 1925. Wait, 1900. So that means you are oh, right. Oh wait, wait, wait. Let him. Let him check. Let, <gasps> let him check. Let's, 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 let's confirm. Let him check. Let him check, please. Oh, I think they're gonna shut the school down as well. What? Yeah, they are. They are. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Yeah. And come on. 1925. Oh okay. my God. Hey. He got 1921. 1921. Who's closer? 35. He's closer. I'm closer. Ah, our na. Now he's a student. Touch me, man. We already made it clear that I dropped out, man. <laughs> Which college did you go to? Loyal. Oh, hey. Hey, bro. I'm not even. It's unfair. Oh boy. Okay. Yeah, oh my <laughs> God. Uh, Madhav, do you have a question you want to ask? Yeah, please, anything. Yeah. Please, please. Music, uh, music question. <laughs> Who is the current guitarist for uh, Toto? <laughs> just, just do I it. Just, uh, I just said his name. Why are you? Po- Yeah because yeah because I don't know the answer. Can I just name a Toto song get away with it? No no no. no. Him him him. Africa Africa Africa. Hold the line. Hold the line. No no. Who is the guitarist? Last okay. Oh he got it. But at least I'll give you one chance. One chance. Who is it? Starting letter. Starting. Can I give him a starting letter? No. That's fine. Starting letter. S. I still don't got it. I'll hey, na it po thana sun na. I think I, know, I said Ringo Starr is collaborating with this guy. Ringo Starr, I got it. I my ear. Steve oh, Lukather. Yes, my bad. My bad. Yes. Fucking Steve. I know it. No. I think last <laughs> question we have to make this one count, guys. Okay. And we have to right. answer. Let's do. Let's Come on. Go. Get no, one. Wait, wait, get it right. Matthew, what do you think? No, I'm saying let's do it. Rule false. Make it a little easier for him. True or false? false. Hmm. Okay, fine. Um, okay, true or false? True or false? True or false? Spam either true or spam false. Hi, bro. I know if it's a turtle or a tortoise. Huh? Or tortoise, but. Can one of these creatures poop and drink from the same hole? True. False. True only, no? True. Adapa, baby. That's true. Okay. True. So, so do right. Let's do a confirmation. Oh. Hey, so but you didn't. You didn't specify which animal. Tortoise. Okay. okay. Oh, uh, yeah. True, I guess. I. Oh man. Yeah, I'm still getting water over my ears. True. True. Who said true? Oh, thank God. He said true. So, so those. Oh Jesus! Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. I think. I, I think that's that's it for the water segment. Yeah, I'm gonna go lie down in the sun for a bit. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I I shall join you. And then guys. Oh God. Okay. Yeah, right. This is. Don't 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 do that. Don't do that. <laughs> oh God. Oh God. <laughs> dude, make a make a. You know how they make snow angels, right? Oh, dude, that is gonna hurt. They were such a serious one. I'm just gonna dry dry off. All right, so that's it for the water segment. Now okay now I wanted to talk to you about you know we spoke about mangas and the mango men now I want to talk to you as mangas as the solo artist mm. now I have uh, in your catalog I've noticed uh, this song get a lot of attention we're talking I'm talking about Star City what is Star City about man uh <laughs> see so the funny thing about Star City is people people come to me they're like bro which girl did you write that about <laughs> this, there is a story there I'm like there is a story but it's not about a girl oh. it's about dropping out of college Oh yeah <laughs> which is the funny thing because um I was in Loyola for a bit 
a uh, lot some people don't know but um i guess the i i was doing viscom and the course really didn't it didn't do much for me like it was online most of the time and when i went uh, offline were you the covid batch the covid batch yeah ouch yeah that was L- likewise even i i did yeah. bba and loyal so oh, yeah. okay so there was yeah. two years that happened online and in those two years i really got into music mm. so i was like i want to do this i don't want to stick on to more yeah and also concept. i was touring with sunflower at that time and i had to take uh, a lot of leave so my attendance just oh yeah no dropped. that makes sense and uh, yeah star city was written in that brief period where i was dropping out of college <laughs> oh. so yeah so the song is pretty much about like how you're like okay you're, you're in viscom shit's not really going the way you expected to and then music starts like boom yeah it's so star city is basically your expression for your love of music right right yeah that i mean that's a that's i have had not thought about that <laughs> yeah cool cool yeah you had uh, explained <laughs> the thing is you had a uh, viscom hmm. uh, online viscom has some theory element hmm. to it i on the other hand had to do my first entire first year of uh, film technology bsc film technology online oh so that's, uh, even, worse, uh, that's even worse yeah. that's my point jeez damn dude damn yeah my buddy online was you know how it goes yeah imagine you're staying home and you expect <laughs> to study all day come on bro you That's had it true. you had it better man i'll be real with you <laughs> so yeah so i mean now okay that star city what about your next single as manga is there as any, something we can expect anytime soon uh i think it will take a while because right now i'm working on the mangas and the manga and stuff more mm-hmm. um but there's some really exciting stuff coming up so with mangas my plan is to just take it where i want to take it like if, if it's producing hip hop or producing indie pop or producing psychedelic pop so, just, so you're willing to experiment even into hip hop yeah yeah uh, with oh. ano with ano we have like two to three hip hop songs oh right yeah okay yeah. okay so um, i produce one of them i think are yeah. you rapping do we get a yes there is there is, there is a bit of rap we're oh, getting manga buzz okay we're okay. getting some all these boys yeah. that plays let's go yeah so i mean it's really inspiring to see these artists from chennai do so much in the hip hop scene so that's i think that's where it it came up from i used to do i used to be the sound guy for goot i don't have you heard of the goot yes yeah, yes i course. call him the goot but his name is goot <laughs> goot yeah but yeah goot um i used to do his sound live so um, yeah his stuff is crazy yeah i've really not checked it yeah out. i uh, that's something in uh what was that uh that was that social right social yeah social social yeah i i remember you did that uh, and you did his own gig in uh, mede hmm hmm yeah right i remember he's insane yeah he's dude. absolutely good good became I, i mean i think i think everyone knows good now after that uh, her song her right? song yeah, dude the music song. video for it went insane shout out to good but good. like but yeah man yeah that he's he's an incredible artist yeah yeah so good uh, hip hop is a good there's been anonymous there was adi love i don't know if you've heard of adi love adi love, love. Adi, love. Yeah, yeah. adi love ecm they've all seeing all you of you collaborated with ecm too uh i don't think i've directly collaborated oh, okay the thing with good show is the good show at mayday ecm was on it okay. and i i was a big part of it so okay. kind of collaborated but sure okay yeah maybe someday you know maybe someday yeah, yeah. but that's but that's great to hear you wanting to experiment man because even i'm someone who's slowly coming up there in hmm. the music scene and like when i wanted to and i'm i mean at first when i was trying to do music right. i thought i was primarily a rapper but like okay. eventually after a point i did not want to just stick on to it so i hmm. tried i mean i i guess trying i would say i wouldn't say anything special but trying to also push more on the singing side of things and even when it comes to the I'm, i also produce beats too so nice you know with my beats they're not traditionally sticking on to your typical uh, hip hop hmm. beats i try to experiment a lot like with my upcoming ep that i'm p- putting out coming coming out soon maybe coming out soon, yeah, coming out <laughs> soon. uh i'm i have a house track i oh. have uh, i'm trying i'm trying to be how ha- trying to have a house track i have a, a very very pop rappy sort of song i have your typical mainstream sounding sort of vibe so all I, what i wanted to basically share was like it's great to see more and more people trying to experiment you know because i feel like when it comes to our generation of people especially where like all a music taste right if you take like let's say like five to six genres it's like it's mushed into one we're all like genre fluid so it's it's honestly just really really great to hear you wanting to experiment and hey hopefully if you're willing you know <laughs> you know if you're willing and if you like what i'm doing let's try to experiment on sure, something too sure sure definitely so, i i mean 
I I think experimenting just opens up a so lot many more possibilities, yeah. right? Because let's say we're in rock, right? And I go to hip hop. I can always bring something new to what rock is. Exactly. So you think about it like this: if people, if musicians didn't experiment, genres wouldn't have never been created. Exactly. That is a very uh, what point, happened yeah. in the fifties. You know, yeah. like rock and roll was have experimented by somebody tearing their amp with a <laughs> blade. Seriously? You know? That's how distortion came. Oh, oh really? Yeah. It was. So wow. I believe it was they. Tore the speaker to give that distortion distortion effect. Yeah, that would we be today without distortion? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. that's something we have to do. Distortion, talk about. yeah, especially distortion, which is used in literally every genre too. Like that's yeah. crazy, bro. Wow. Distor yeah, distortion is actually used in. Then every distortion, genre. then it became a pedal. You know, like an that. Think about it. Like the pedal is an emulated version of. It's not the original version of distortion. Right. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you you use distortion in hip hop as well on eight oh eight and especially stuff. Yeah, yeah, especially eight oh eights. We used uh, just yeah, I man. Pretty much like you said, it's everywhere. That's crazy. Long live that guy, bro. <laughs> I mean, not so much, but still, <laughs> <laughs> that's you get the point. So yeah, I mean yeah, and uh, let's get to the final part about you know of the podcast is which Chennai artist would you like to collaborate with, which who you haven't collaborated with yet. Okay, so I'm gonna bring in the Anno story here. Okay. To finish that off. Okay. So um. Anonymous, I met him at a gig in Crazy Ivan, which is like one bar in OMR. Okay, Crazy, sorry, what? Crazy Ivan. Crazy Ivan. I guess, Ivan. I guess it was that. Uh, oh, right. He was opening for Jack Styles. Have you heard of Jack Styles? Yes, I have. Yeah. I have. Um, so I saw him there, and his whole gimmick was just so new. Like mm -hmm. you know the the mask. The mask, right? The yeah. mask. The, f the first ever Chennai rapper to. The vibe also. The vibe just also. Like, such such fun goofy elements in. Hip hop, just uh -huh. put, put like that. I was like, "Geez, this guy is crazy." Yeah. And I keep kept meeting him. I'm meeting. What the? What <laughs> am I saying? <laughs> meeting him in uh, hip hop events like uh, with ECM and with Adila, with Goot. Mm -hmm. Um, and yeah, I just uh, at one point I went to him. I was like, "Mansha, do you wanna you wanna make something?" And before Kobe Long, the festival, he came over and we did a song with him, which should be out soon. 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 So be on who, the lookout, guys. Who would I like to collab with? So far, we've done Anonymous. Mm -hmm. We've done Gregory. I don't know if you've heard. Gregory. Gregory okay. is not. He's not in the scene yet, but he's a really good friend, and he's in my metal band. I play for a metal band called Order. I'm the bassist. Oh, okay, okay. And uh, he sings for that band. Cool. The front okay. man. And uh, who else? We've done with Paul. Paul is the front man of Waffles and Warfare. Okay. So um, yeah, all these guys who have who I've been seeing for so long, mm -hmm. just collaborate. Who I would like to collaborate with is a difficult question. Uh, right now, I'd say MS Krishna. Ah, okay. Yeah. MS Krishna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. MS Krishna is absolutely crazy. The singer, right? The singer. Yes. And yeah, I'd like to see what me and the boys yeah. and him can put together. It's mm. going to be a product which is going to be something else entirely. Of course, man. So, of course. Keep the thing on. is, all these guys come from such different backgrounds. Like you know, Matthew comes from more metal stuff. Nikhil also comes from more metal stuff. Krishanu goes from more Joe Satriani, some rock. Steve's more you know gospel and more uh, oh. slash Guns and Roses. Right. And I'm more like you know classic rock or uh, more Rage Against the Machine system of a down. There's some Green Day, whatever. There's also some 80s. So all, when all this gets mixed with what MS has. It's gonna It'd be insane. Exactly. Absolutely so, insane. Sky's the limit, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, wow. What's your favorite uh, MS Krishna record? It's oh, a tough question, bro. I'm gonna say it's Io, his latest thing that came out. I think. Okay. All right, man. So that brings us to the end of the Music for Days podcast. Stay tuned, guys. <laughs> I always mess up the ending. <laughs> <laughs> always. Oh boy. Right, we're cutting this one. Okay. Have fun editing. Speak to me. <laughs> oh, no.